Hi, I'm Dr. Pratis Berry and I need to tell you this story. I like to see the renovation of old homes. And when I say old homes, I mean like really, really old, at least a hundred years old. I don't like to participate in it <laughs> because that is uh, some of the most grueling work ever. But the first thing people do is they look for the blueprints. They look to see if there's any blueprints of the original build because it will tell them where maybe new walls have been put in and where uh, power is really run and where things were initially. And then they take everything down to the studs and they look for the damage and there's almost always electrical and water and the things that you cannot see. There are very often some problems in the foundation and yet other aspects of it will be very, very strong. The older the build, the stronger um, things tend to be and the longer they tend to last. But you still have to take out those things that are causing the rot, that are causing the destruction. When you see people come in with sledgehammers and bulldozers and they take out one Maybe they take out one wall, not understanding that that wall was foundational, that, that that wall was necessary in holding things up. And then you'll see the entire roof collapse, and then they just have to scrap the whole thing and build again. We've been going at systemic racism without looking at the blueprints of the original build without looking at the old documents, without looking at the old history, without reading the slave narratives themselves. Now, I know novels are fantastic. I love a good novel. I hope I write a good novel. But let those novels lead you to the original documents. Let them lead you to the source of this pain. Let them lead you to the how and why. And don't stop there. Read the works of those abolitionists who, in a society when everybody else was saying, this is legal, this is right, they're not human, they saw something different. They saw the truth. Look at their work and understand why, in the midst of everyone else screaming in their ears saying, this is the way we need to go, that they knew the truth. They were in the numerical minority, but they knew the truth. And we should be studying them. We should be looking into their lives. We should be seeking and searching and asking them to show us the way. I love anybody who's trying to dismantle racism. I love anyone who's trying to do deep DE&I work deep work, but we've been infiltrated by box checkers and those who want to plant words and phrases to destroy this whole work. Those who would have you look left when the leak is to the right. Those who would have you take out a foundational wall when the false wall is the one that they put in recently. This might not make a lot of sense to a whole lot of people, but apply it to your own life. Apply it to your family. Apply it to the folks at work. Sometimes you want to take down and take out and remove the very ones who are holding things together. And then you keep and cherish and promote the ones who are causing the destruction. We're going to get there but not by choosing sides. We're going to get there. When we all look at the old plans and the old work and the way it was put in place in the first place, then we can build a new house from a foundation that was sure and strong, but it's got some rot. I love you.